There's nothing more frustrating than hopping into your Facebook ads account only to realize that your ads aren't showing because you have too much text in the creative. Facebook has a rule that says no more than 20% of the creative or image portion of your ad can be text. So whether or not that's your brand name, the logo, or if you're using some supporting text like you would in a display banner, maybe on the Google Display Network, something like that, you can only have 20% of the image be text. In the past, we kind of had to play the game of uploading a new image, seeing if it got through requirements. If it didn't, take it down, adjust it, have your creative team make a new pass at it, upload it and see if it gets approved that time. But the good news is that we can take that sort of back and forth long process out with Facebook's text overlay tool. This is something that's not part of Business Manager, it's just on just a different page on facebook.com. And what you can do is upload your image, have Facebook scan it, tell you how much it thinks is text, and then you can either take it from there and upload into Business Manager if everything looks good, or you can go back, make some tweaks, re-upload it, get a new scan and see how things go. So it's super helpful, can really save some time. So today what I wanna do is show you where that text overlay tool lives and how you can use it to make sure that your ads are always going to meet Facebook guidelines. Let's hop in. This video is brought to you by Shape, an all-in-one PPC budgeting solution designed for you to control, organize and collaborate on PPC ad spend at scale. Ready to start saving some time? Check out the link below to learn all about Shape. The Facebook text overlay tool is really easy to find. You can just Google it and it will be the first thing that shows up. So there are only a couple things to look at on this page. First is that there is going to be a rating system depending on the image that you have, and it will rank and tell you if your ads are okay and if they have the right amount of text. If they have what they decide is a medium amount of too much text or something where your ads will be throttled a bit more heavily but will still run to maybe half of the users that they could see prior. And then if your ad has way too much text in it, and this means that your ad most likely will just be disapproved from the start because there's just too much text going on there. There are a couple frequently asked questions down here, which you can read through on your own time. And it's also good for having your designers read these just to make sure that they know what's going on. If you're like me, you've already passed this link over to the designer so you don't have to go back and forth. Hopefully they will pay attention and read these questions and have a little bit more insight into what to do. So now the last thing, and this is really where the tool actually is useful, is you can click this upload image and upload the images that you want to the text overlay tool. I've already done that for a few images here that I really just wanted to show you what the different messages looked like. And honestly, it's exactly what they show you on the right. First one is one that I stole from my my own Facebook newsfeed. So LinkedIn, thank you very much for running a sales navigator ad that has the proper amount of text in place. So it'll show you that this one looks good. And then I just took a couple of the different YouTube title cards because I knew they'd have too much text in them. But this is effectively what it will look like when you upload different ads and it starts to show you the different degrees of text that you have in place. Now, one of the things that I have run into in the past is that for whatever reason, sometimes Facebook does have a bit of a glitch might be a harsh way to put it, but sometimes it doesn't really return the results that you would expect. There are some times where it would interpret this cue maybe as text or something like that. There are just some times where they don't return logical results on this tool. That is by far the smallest percentage of the time, maybe 5% of the time this tool will be having some issues, but it is something that comes up. And I want to show you a way that you can get around that a little bit by using a second tool that we are not affiliated with in any way. It is just a helpful way to kind of back up what Facebook is saying. So when we Googled this, I kind of did this for a reason is because the second link down here, social-contests.com, they have a really good manual tool that you can utilize as well. So let's look at that. It's pretty similar to the Facebook tool. You just choose your file and upload it. I kept that same LinkedIn sales navigator thing. So thanks for that. And the only thing you really have to do is click on the tiles that have your text in it. So each of these has text. Now you can see that because I've highlighted six squares that says that we have too much text, basically you need it to be five or less for this to work. But one thing to keep in mind is the only reason that these two are highlighted is because they have just the first letter in it. So if these were to slide all the way over and fill just these four squares, theoretically, we would be good. And this is how we can tell that the LinkedIn ad 
is going to be good on the Facebook platform. If you look at one of the other pieces that I used, you can easily see that this Quora Ads Pixel Setup video card with Paid Media Pros down at the bottom and then the title up in the top right has far too much text and that's why we're gonna start to see some of the issues. If we were to upload the other title card that we had, pretty much all of these would have been covered because that entire thing was basically text. And now you can see that we had way too much text going on. We've got 64%, it's over half. That's why that one's gonna be caused to have a high rejection rate as opposed to this one, which once all of these are removed again, only has 40%. So it's still under half. That's why it's kind of in the low range, but it is double the rule that we need to have in place. So if you're starting to notice issues with Facebook or you just wanna double check because you don't trust it as much, this is a great backup tool to use if you wanna test it out in a manual capacity and see how much of your ad is actually covered by text instead of imagery. Thanks for watching our video. If you thought it was useful, give us a thumbs up below. We release a new video at least once a week. So if you want to get notified of when a new one comes out, be sure to subscribe to the Paid Media Pros channel.